Um, Spinning but... around Yoshi's Island, kind of thinking about it, you know? Oh, man. Really? <laughs> we, we made it this far without seeing Yoshi's Island? <laughs> Pup okay, PS2! All right, all right. Pokemon Stadium 2, we're going to put pick the uh, battle, the Team Galactic battle theme. That's, that's one that I don't see people picking too often, so I can respect it. I'm why, do I, why do I feel like that was uh, Nitro? Nitro picked that. Yep, you know, I was right. It's going to be the Richter and right. the... Pure the Reflect. He's, he's, he's thinking about it. I'm actually kind of bummed about the Yoshi's Island, you know. The De Niro song, did you see uh, recently uh, um, Bobcat? Uh, uh, Battle of BC, they oh. were chanting it in the crowd. Well, like, oh, I saw, yeah, I saw uh, Locus's tweet. Hype! <laughs> it was hype. I was that, like, that's that a fun that crowd to be part of. Why were they chanting Dinero? Because the stage was like singing the song and is people Is that the were, lyric? Is yes, that the it is. I had no idea. The Yoshi's in the background like sing it. They're I'm convinced really they're Yoshi's. They're, they're, they're really saying really Dinero? Yes. Like Spanish money? for money. <laughs> what? Yeah. I you got to, go I'll send you the link. Go, I have to go <laughs> confirm that. I know which song you're talking about. I just didn't yes. know that's what they were saying. I just I <laughs> assumed it was unintelligible Yoshi speak. So. <laughs> Here we go. Kicking off. Game number one between Caraflax and Nitro. No, it is going to be the uh, regular pit. This is a uh, regular pit. Um, difference between pit and dark pit. Uh, the two main differences are going to be the arrows. The pit has a lot more freedom of control over his. And uh, the side Bs are different. Um, I think these uh, dark pits kills a little bit earlier. But uh, you can combo off of the uh, regular pits a little bit better. Here we go, and Nitro zoning really excellently, you know, trying to keep Pure Flax on that ledge there, not letting him in, and whenever people get close to Richter, you just got to up B out of it. You know, best defense, so just throwing out axes, throwing out holy waters, and not letting him in one bit, so Pure Flax is kind of forced to throw out arrows. There's just no other choice. Yeah, and he's going to be content to throw out aerials just un uh, arrows excuse me just until he finds his opening just as he did right there yeah. he went in and got out with whatever damage he could he's definitely not trying to overextend but nitro just covering the options so well and the holy water to forward smash will confirm into the kill nitro moving up a stock and only 56 percent on his life but does he have a jump here he does able to get back to the ledge with the aerial uh tethering on as well the tether is such a great option for recovering, honestly, because his up B doesn't get any range at all. So, All Ooh. right, Kiraflex answering back with the forward smash is not going to be enough to kill. He goes with the interesting edge guard there, the up angled arrow, and he gets the kill anyways. Nitro with the tech right below the stage, but the, that positioning was just awful for uh, him. He's not going to be able to tether, not going to be able to up B with enough distance. And we're at the dead even game now. Wow, and so here we go. We're just seeing more axes being thrown out. And we do have Pit um, with the Reflector. I'm surprised we're not seeing more of that. You know, because he is just so projectile based. But yeah, I think it's just hard because the um, because of the way that Richter and Simon layer their projectiles. They're th throwing out multiple projectiles at once. And the Orbitars only, they break after a certain amount of damage mm. uh, and time and uh, they only cover the sides as well. So if he throws out a projectile that he can reflect, uh, he can also just jump over him and, oh, what a catch. Oh, right, Kiraflex, as I'm talking, making this comeback, getting the gimp with the neutral air, uh, forcing uh, Nitro into a really bad situation that he can't make it back from. 132% on Kiraflex, though, has yet to find any sort of extra damage onto Nitro's stock. He's gonna wanna make a lot of mileage out of this. It's just so hard. Because at this point, he can't overcommit. He does use the Orbitars right there to reflect the cross. That might be his best option. Wow. The down angled forward air going to take the stock, and we're right back down to one apiece. Wow, here we go here. And here, Flax not taking on any damage just yet and throws out the Electroshock. And let's see here, but it doesn't quite do as much damage as the Dark Pit one, so... Let's see here, going in with some arrows, trying to find another opening. All right, both players just waiting for an opportunity here. Oh, and you were right. Even if the axe was coming from above, the reflectors were still able to bounce off. Let's go here. Nitro trying to keep him way off that edge. Oh, and he was able to come back in with the shield roll. All right, looking like a really even game here. We're down to the wire. 
keeping it close to the chest and using the Dragon Punch of Swords. Nitro getting out of himself out of that situation. There we can see the Orbitas breaking from that forward smash. It's such a strong forward smash, honestly. Yeah. And I mean, it's it, you have setups into it off of the Holy Water and so strong by the ledge where it's obviously going to kill earlier. It, it's just, you know, if Richter didn't have this really poor recovery or just like a lack of a boxing game, he would be like an absolute monster. He, he is already without needing that. So. I completely agree with you. Yeah, definitely. He just needs to throw that axe that would totally would have killed him. Ooh, but the up air will do it. And Nitro moving up a game. Really solid stuff. Cure Flex definitely played his heart out to the very end there. It's, you can see in his face that he's a, a, he's a little he's a little bit bothered by that. He knows he has to work so hard to maneuver around these projectiles. I mean, that's just that's how it's gonna be playing against this character in this game. The, the Belmonts are gonna be one of those those characters that people just do not like to play against, especially not when you have one of this caliber, such as Nitros, who is such a good player. Uh, he can make a character like this work. Definitely. Oh, and you see him kind of, oh, there you go. He's going to be picking Pit again. This time, not with the edgy boy skin. We got him with the pink skin. I, I'm hoping that this will bring him some good luck or something. I hope so. I mean, he, it's, a, it's a total, like, counterbalance to uh, the black uh, skin that Nitro has for Ricky. <laughs> Definitely. All right. And he's going in really aggressive this time. Oh my Ooh. god! Already! What? In the first part of the match. Wow, what? and I'm surprised he didn't take advantage of that with a side smash or something. I think uh, he wa what he wanted to do is he wanted the hitbox of the Holy Water to come out so he can get some extra damage off of that and set up into a little bit more damage. So the forward smash, would have he would have been able to gotten something nice, but he probably could have gotten more and he just messed up the setup. Yeah, and the Holy Water passed right through him, but it's not a problem here. We see Richter juggling him around to the side of the stage, and that Holy Cross coming right back across. It has such a range, it just can cover the entirety of the stadium. And right there, we saw that whenever you get close to a Richter main, you can just up smash right out of it. Okay, Nitro holding down the ledge right here. He's got the Holy Water, and it forced Cure Flex. I, I mean, he really should have just like, uh, rolled. I, basically, his neutral get up, uh, get up attack, and jump recovered. But he had to roll right there. Even then, I feel like he may still get caught, but that was his best chance of survival. Nonetheless, Nitro up a stock, but he's way off stage, and so is Kiraflex with that back here, putting us at two stocks apiece, and Kiraflex pulling away with that neutral air. All right, here we go. Without Holy Cross coming back, we have Pit. Yeah, Taking it from behind. Yeah, we're really seeing an evenly matched game right now. What an edge guard! He should be able wow. to make it back there. Pitt's recovery is really good. Uh, dash attack right here from Kira Flax. What's the ledge play? Okay. Pitt trying to go for the grab, and he's able to connect one, doing a back throw there. But Richter, you know, responding Ooh. with a holy water. Yeah, and we can see full focus coming out from Kira Flax. He's got the, the double parries online. Uh, parrying. The holy, not only the holy water, but the cross. Uh, he's got the. I love that down air. Able to pop up nitro and set up for a potential juggle. Gets a grab instead. Oh no! Wow, really great timing with that holy water. Was able to get him right in that. It's such a good uh, way to set up for a side smash. But we have Pit in a down throw here. Right, throwing out some arrows. 141 to 111 right now. It's just really scary stuff with Pure Flex. That's what I'm talking about. You've got to time a roll. Otherwise, your other options are covered. And if you do anything else or even just wait on the ledge, you're going to die. I know both players are at such high percentages right now, steaming with rage, it looks like. so. Yeah, Nitro definitely got about max rage right now. Not that he's going to be able to make much use of it. In fact, he loses it. Uh, with that overextension, gonna get punished by the up smash from Kiraflax, who is up two stocks and trying to make a comeback into this game. Nitro with the throw, putting us at even stocks on our last lives here. But Kiraflax with the advantage off stage. I like to pick up with the neutral air, immediate wow. neutral air. He's like untouched right now, too, putting on 50%, but he was able to get a little bit of damage in there. Your Richter slowly making his way over. Really good use of his projectiles, and he was able to get him locked into a jab. 
dead even percents here on our last stock. Kiraflex obviously needs to take this to even stay alive in this set. Otherwise, Nitro will move on. Forward air here. He may have burned all of his jumps. He goes low. Upbeats to the ledge. Kiraflex back to center stage. Oh, man. Oh, Ooh, so charging hard. that side smash. Ooh, that gave me a panic just now because I really thought he was going to land that. But we have Nitro keep continuing to put Kiraflax off the ledge there. Man, he's desperate to come back in. He's just using those shield options, and you see it's getting smaller and smaller. Yeah. So will we see a shield break this and, match? Maybe not. And Kiraflax was aware of that. Definitely uh, held off of a, uh, using the shield button for a couple of seconds so that he could regenerate the shield because, oh my god, a cross would have easily just broken that on its own. Let's see. This is anyone's match at this point. 110. We see these two players always at the same percentage this entire match. I want this game three. Let's go. Back throw. <laughs> Can we see the catch guard? No more 2-0s. Here we go. Reverse advantage right now. I mean, I want to see the game three because just because of how hard these two players are fighting. And there is going to be the holy water shield poking and the forward smash will